Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am back today with a brand new cake recipe for you guys. This one is so easy, super delicious, and you can have it in the oven in 15 minutes. I'll be making my pineapple bundt cake topped with whipped cream and maraschino cherries. This cake is loaded with so much incredible flavor. We're gonna add some pineapple directly into the cake batter. We're gonna add some whipped cream on top, some more pineapple. I love this cake. It's so simple to make yet so delicious perfect any time of the day. You can even enjoy a slice of this cake in the morning with a cup of coffee. First up, I have my butter and sugar. I have 3 4 cup of unsalted butter and I've softened that at room temperature. I'm going to add in 3 4 cup of white granulated sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'll use my hand mixer to cream these together for a few minutes. Once my butter and sugar are nice and fluffy, I'm going to add in one cup of melted white chocolate chips. Mix that in. Now the white chocolate isn't going to add a lot of chocolate flavor to the cake, but it is going to add a lot of moisture and this cake is going to taste incredible because of it. Now I'm ready to add my eggs. I have four large eggs. I'm going to add one at a time, give it a good mix after each addition. And finally, I'll add in one cup of milk. And onto my dry ingredients, I've measured out two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'll add in one fourth teaspoon of salt and four teaspoons of baking powder. Mix that all in, and then I'm going to sift this into my batter. And then mix the flour into the cake batter for about 30 seconds. You wanna mix it just until the flour is incorporated to avoid over-mixing it. And finally, our last ingredient, the pineapple. So I've measured out one cup of canned crushed pineapple. I drained as much of the juice as I could. I'm going to add that directly into the batter. And then mix that in. I have my oven preheated to 335 degrees Fahrenheit and my secret to making a perfect butt pan is preparing the pan properly. So I like to use this baking spray. It has a starch in it that will help release the cake from the sides. If you don't have a baking spray, you can always just butter the pan really well, then flour it really well, and then add your cake batter. That way the cake won't stick to your pan. Spray it generously on the side, the bottom and that central piece. And then I'll spoon this batter into the pan. And that's it, my pineapple bundt cake is ready to go into the oven. It's going to bake for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. You want that top to be completely set. And then check the doneness with the toothpick, just insert it into the center. And when it comes out clean, the cake is ready to come out of the oven, let it cool, just in the pan as it is for about 10, 15 minutes and then invert it onto a wire rack, let it cool there completely. Then we'll come back to make our whipped cream frosting. All right guys, how gorgeous is this bunk cake? And I'm loving this vintagey looking cake stand. And now it's time to decorate it. I made a batch of some simple whipped cream. I'll include the full recipe on my blog along with the cake recipe. Just gonna add a little dollops of the frosting on top. And you can really decorate this any way you want. You can even serve the whipped cream on the side. Guys, how gorgeous is this cake? I love that it's so simple. You can put it together in no time, yet it looks really fancy and decadent. You can even serve it for a special occasion. Time to dig in and enjoy. And of course, I love to have some extra whipped cream on all of my cakes and desserts. Just add that little bit of creaminess and fluffiness to the dessert. This looks so good. Mmm. Okay, this cake is seriously delicious. Hands down, the best pineapple cake. The pineapple gives us like the sweetness and it's baked right into the cake batter. The cake is just so moist and tender, just kind of melts in your mouth. And the whipped cream on top is really all this cake needs. It's just simple, 
delicious and you can enjoy this cake all summer long. For the full recipe, just head down into my video description box. I've left a link there. It'll take you over to my blog where you could print this recipe off and of course share with your family and friends. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.